News for kids in Greater Lafayette could be affected by a decision from Congress. News 18's Amber Hardwick brings us more on the budget cuts in the arts. Arts organizations in Greater Lafayette could be impacted by a bill being discussed by Congress. If the bill passes, funding for the National Endowment for the Arts would be cut by 49 percent. The NEA helps fund art organizations throughout the U.S., including Lafayette. The Tippecanoe County Arts Federation, the Lafayette Symphony Orchestra, and the Civic Theater of Greater Lafayette are all concerned. TAF Executive Director Tisha Lee says the budget cut will make it harder to offer free art classes for students. The instructors, the supplies, um, the overhead to keep them here, also, uh, you know, anything that we, we can do to, to get out there to help these kids stay out of trouble. Lafayette Symphony Orchestra Executive Director Sarah Mummy says all arts help kids grow. She says the budget cuts concern her. I think that the arts impact every part of our development from a young age through uh, adulthood, really. Um, it's a part of what makes our community rich. The Civic Theater of Greater Lafayette would be impacted. Managing Director Stephen Kohler says he's concerned about the Civic Theater and the other art organizations in the community. Uh, we have a direct educational impact on so many kids throughout the community, um, Civic and several other organizations. And as we have to cut projects and programs to make up for the lost operating funds, those will be the first possibly on the chopping block. Community members can help by signing a petition in support of the arts. It is very important for all of us to activate that democratic process, write letters, make phone calls. Um, if you know them personally, set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Amber Hardwick, News 18. WLFI's Eye on Kids is presented by Alcoa, Wabash National, Nanshan, and Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health. This portion of News 18 